At least the photographer step up front. There's a team of Swedish people involved in writing it. Yes, uh, my song was written by uh, an international team of uh, writers. Uh, one of them are Swedish. Yes, they are also wrote um, last year the song A Million Voices for Pauline and Gagarina. And this year I had the, this great opportunity to work with them. And I think um, it, is, uh, it will bring me uh, luck in this contest. It's Gabriel Alaris, he also wrote uh, the Norwegian uh, yes, uh, contribution. Yes. So I guess if both of your songs end up in the final, he'll, he'll be <laughs> we'll competing be, against, <laughs> against himself. <laughs> it will be great, it will be very exciting. So about your song, when you go on stage and perform it, what would you like to give to the audience? What is the message of the song? I would like to give uh, all of my emotions, love, um, because every one of us has a, a universe full of stars in us and uh, we should be the brightest star of our life. This is the message of my song, Falling Stars. And your relationship to Eurovision, could you tell us about it? Uh, yeah, uh, actually last year I was in Austria at Eurovision, but uh, I was uh, as a, a video blogger. I, uh, Filmed something, and I was with the Sunstrom Project, the representative of 2010 of uh, Moldova. If you can remember, Epic Sex Guy. Yes, I was with them, and it was a great experience. It's, it was like a little rehearsal. And uh, when I was in Austria, I I thought that it would be great to be on that stage as a singer because uh, many years I tried but I didn't pass and this year was uh, is my lucky year and I won the national final and now I'm here <laughs> you've competed before as a part of the glam rock the, the glam sorry the glam, glam girls, girls rock yeah. the duo glam girls yes in what way is it different to be on your own as a, as a solo I, artist I've, oh, I actually been uh, always on my own but uh, I started to work more professional with this band because I had a producer and so on. Uh, we uh, are popular in Moldova, we have many songs and we do concerts. Uh, but um, a part of that, uh, we decided to make a solo uh, career. But uh, I uh, sing and the Glam Girls too. You do? Yes, right, I, I, I do. I do. You yes. Okay, questions from the audience please? Don't be shy, there's one in the back here. All the way back, on the stand here. Hi, Lydia. Hi. Hi, Lydia, it's Josh here from wibbybox.com. Um, good question in regards to your staging, because Moldova never ever failed to disappoint us when it comes to the stage production. Where did the idea of the Austronaut come from, and how does that relate to your performance? Actually, this idea came uh, a few days ago. I released uh, the official video clip for the song, and uh, if you saw it, there is an astronaut there. Um, the idea came from uh, the scenarist 
Corina Kairiak uh, that uh, made this video clip with the team. Uh, we thought that uh, we can relate the song Falling Stars with Cosmos, with the Universe, and um, that's why we chose uh, the astronaut to be the main character uh, near me, like this. Yes, and the, the Yuri is <laughs> the, dancer, <laughs> the dancer that will uh, uh, bring some space on uh, the globe, this globe arena. <laughs> so, so Yuri, awesome. how heavy is that? It is actually heavy, you know? <laughs> it's hard it looks to dance heavy. in it. <laughs> it looks heavy. Yes. And you were able to dance. You can try! <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea with my microphone, but, but is it, how, do you, how do you dance with it all? That must be quite a challenge. Actually, I'm not dance always. I take off. Um, at, uh, when I start to dance, I take off. Uh, but you do do some moves with it all? Some moves, uh, a, a little bit, just. <laughs> okay, that sounds better. What questions? Gentlemen here, the white t-shirt. Hi, I'm from ESC Bubble. Lydia, um, the song that you've released, uh, an acoustic French version of your song, Clou de Toile. Can you tell us about, about why you decided to sing that in French and will you be releasing that online? Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, idea came from a writer uh, from France. His name is, to not uh, to spell it correct, uh, Francis Sogomonian. He wrote me and told that it will be great to do a French version uh, because um, I actually uh, learned French to 12 years in my school. I, uh, I know very well French and I said it would be great, it's, it's a great idea. And uh, we did it like in one day, we filmed and we uh, recorded it and uh, yes, with iPhone, <laughs> if not. And, uh, I'm very happy that uh, many people like it, actually, and uh, uh, we are thinking now maybe uh, to add French, but we don't know yet. <laughs> I can't tell, I can't tell it <laughs> for now. <laughs> but I like very much the version uh, in French and the acoustic of the song. And it's a word choice. Hi, Alistair Birch from SBS Radio um, in Australia. I have a little follow-on. Um, I understand your French teacher way back when influenced your musical career. Can you explain a little bit about that? And maybe can we hear a little bit of your favourite Piaf song? Oh, <laughs> that's history. Um, yes, when I was uh, 13, my, uh, I uh, had a new uh, French teacher in school. And uh, when I, um, uh, like... Uh, I did my homework and I passed uh, on the... Uh, ah, I don't know how to say that! <laughs> and when she, uh, ex when she um, uh, listened to my voice, she said, Oh, you have such a deep v voice, that like, you're like a boy! And I said, uh, and she said, do you sing? And I said, no, I'm not singing, I dance! Because uh, then I, I didn't sing, I, I was dancing professionally. And, and she said, no, you should sing with that voice. And I said, okay. <laughs> and, she, and she told me, you should uh, uh, learn some Edith Piaf songs. And she gave me uh, No Rien de Rien, La Vie en Rose, uh, oui. Et, um, et <laughs> je parle français tellement. Yes, yes, <laughs> and, she, and after that, she uh, dressed me like Edith Piaf in a, in a noir dress. Noir dress. Uh, wow, well, black, black, black dress, yes. yes. <laughs> and I was like a little Edith Piaf. Yes, and my first song, uh, I guess, uh, was No Rien de Rien. And can you imagine that? A little girl, uh, 13 years old, is uh, like on stage with black dress and No Rien de Rien. No, je ne regrette rien. Ni le bien comme ma fée. Ni le mal. So you should always listen to your French teachers, I guess. Yes, teachers thank you very much, Don Alba, if you're looking now. Hello. <laughs> well, thank you. More questions? Oh, uh, these are my backup dancers, you can come here. 
Gabriel, yeah, singers. Oh my God, um, and and the, and the yeah, writers too. Yes, and uh, one of the composers, one sure, of the composers. They're coming here with me. Writers of the writers of my song. Writers of the song. Yes. Yes. And you're lucky not to have to wear the the astronaut outfit when you dance, right? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. So we were just ready for one more question over here. And one more questions. You need a microphone, please. Hi, it's uh, Martijn van der Veen from the Netherlands. I was wondering, we were talking about a French version, but uh, you were born in Saint Petersburg. Uh, do you consider a Russian version? A Russian version? <laughs> you know, I, I can make a, a global, international version of uh, Romanian, including French, Russian, why not? If uh, someone will write uh, the words, why not? It's always uh, great to experience, you know, something new. I'm looking forward to it. Because your vision is like come together, all of the countries, we are united, this is uh, the main thing. Thank you. Question over here, please. Hello, Morten from Norway. Hello. Your good friend from Romania were dropped out of the competition and we heard that you wanted him to participate together with you on stage. Why did you think that? Yes, when... Um, we uh, saw that Romania was uh, disqualified from the contest. Uh, we uh, filmed a little video for support for a video because uh, you know the artist is not uh, it's not uh, don't have any uh, uh, how to say that uh, it's not uh, it's not his fault it's not his fault because. Uh, I understand very much, very much, uh, or we do, uh, when you have to work and you have a dream and when the door is closing, it's something very destroying, I guess, for an artist and it's very bad. And that's why we decided to support him in this way and uh, to... Um, to invite him. <laughs> <laughs> and to invite him to sing with me. That's why. Yes. More questions? So, I'm going to ask you what I ask all the artists. What does the, the theme of this year mean to you, come together? What, how does that resonate with yourself, this year's theme, come together? What does it mean? For me, it means that music unites people and uh, we should spread love and passion and our passion is music and through music we should spread love to all, uh, all over the world. Yes, like this. Excellent, thank you. And also, today, on your, when, you, when, you, when you were on stage, how did it feel in terms of the space and the, the volume of the globe? The, the stage is amazing. It's so huge and for the first time I was like, I'm so tiny, I don't know where to go, I don't know where to look. <laughs> and after rehearsing two times I, I already felt better on the stage and I guess that on the 10th May it, it will be great. But the stage is beautiful and the sound is beautiful and I'm feeling great that I'm here. Um, it's amazing. How about your, your outfit? Tell us about your outfit. Yes. You didn't wear it today, obviously. No, no, no. You'll, you'll see it. it. You'll, you'll see, see it. it. Yes, I, I don't want to say much details. Uh, but it will be in the concept of, uh, <laughs> of our uh, main thing, cosmic universe, like this. Excellent. More questions? <laughs> Alistair? I'm sure you have one more. Yeah, you last time at Eurovision you were part of a large group, and then the Glam Girls you were a duo. Now you're on the stage by yourself, or as the primary name. What what is easier being on the stage as the lead singer, and what is hard? Um, what is easier to be in the uh, alone, the solo singer? 
it's not it's not easier it's it's different you know when you're alone when you're in group but it's always interesting i worked with sunstroke project and i had concerts in moldova and uh with glam girls too uh but you know when when you are alone you're like expressing yourself you you are on your own but it's also good to to have some uh, someone on the stage is like supporting you uh, much more thank you well Final chance for a final question? You're all, you're all happy? Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for so coming. much. And best of luck. Before you, we stand up here, I have a press. Uh, you'll take uh, bookings for interviews uh, over the side of the stage afterwards, correct? You'd like to I want to make a present. We have a limited edition of CDs with uh, the song and some other songs. And I want to make a present for best uh, uh, and uh, question. Best uh, question. Who, who gave you best questions? Yes. Alistair. <laughs> I, I like very much uh, the questions about uh, French, and deep gap and so on. Uh, um, and I want to give it to you. you. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, I will sign it. I will sign it. Excellent. So we'll, we'll take that as we as we step down from the stage, but please give Lydia Isaac and the group here a warm hand and we'll see you back soon, hungry.